our graph up here only goes up to x is equal to negative 6 and x equals positive 6. So we probably want to pick a number that's going to fit in between negative Okay, and we're going back to our number 1 and the only... So, so we know that that point's going to show up on the graph. Out Does that make sense? channel. And on this. So every single point on this line is a solution, so just like what we talked about before, I'm right? Take so just because of the fact that we have specifically the point negative one, negative five, into zero, negative two, one, one. If I could graph using, correctly, it almost actually looks like we would dot, probably yeah, have a point at. Version of it. Let me change this a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit more accurate. We would <coughs> also have a like point. Not, it looks like at two, four, like four as well. Doing this one, okay. Yeah. So any point that you see on the graph or on that line is a solution to the equation. We know what y equals because we let x equal negative 1, and we found y. So when we let x equal negative 1, we got y equals negative 5. So, yeah, and they used to have something called inside up. When we so let x equal like 0, all, so. we got y equals negative 2. Well, anyway, um, when we let x equal 1, we got y equals 1. So all we did was we used the equation that was already up there anyway, I'm to find some points. From the computer, so you That's all we did. Upload from disk. And like I said, we got to so pick pretty much whatever we wanted to figure out what points we wanted. Find the third graph you want. Okay. And I think it's in here for this is just things. one way. I want. This is just one way it's for us to go about graphing. If you're not sure how to graph, just find some points. Lost them. Put them on yeah, the put them so on the graph. The Connect them. Okay? That's just one way. One okay? Is, so. so how are we okay. doing so far? We still have a couple more things to get through. So I so how are we doing so far? We have to break with that by the way. So we'll give you about fifteen more seconds. Yeah, Let us know how you're doing. Scroll down. Students always seem to have a hard time with graphing, but I think graphing is super awesome. I love graphing so much. There are so many cool oh things God. you can do with graphing. It's amazing. So, anyway, All right, so we're going to continue moving forward. Image. Okay? So we're very quickly, we talked uh, about X and Y intercepts already. So we're actually going to talk it. about finding X and Y it's intercepts. Nice. And what we're really going to focus in on yeah, is that yeah. when we have X and Y intercepts, remember that one of those Open coordinates is always zero. One of those coordinates is always zero. So when you are given <coughs> an equation, we can find intercepts by either letting Y equal zero to find the X intercepts, or x equals zero to find the y intercept. Okay? Because just like we said, the, 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 when you plot, a, you plot the your photo and all that. So the y is the x intercept has a y coordinate that will always be zero, right? We already talked about that. So if you have an equation and you want to find the x intercept, we're so anyway going to let the y coordinate equal zero. And see, I went down a little bit too far, right. so anyway, I just want to go ahead. Well, let's try that. And let's try that. So back out, we can see their so image cartoonizer the and their image cartoonizer. We are given the equation, 3x minus y equals 9. Version. So I ain't going to download any of them. We will find the so x intercept by letting y equal zero. If you be down it and so find that means it, that we have I would definitely get the image cartoonizer premium version of the 1.4 point. Do we need to leave the That's zero the in there, that minus this zero? Maybe has more features in it. So we get 3x equals 9, so what is x equal? What is x equal? Yeah, divide both, right? divide both sides by 3, right? Divide both sides by 3. Then it says, please wait, your image is currently processing. And so x equals three. Unit. So that means that the x-intercept, if I write it out, you don't the like x-coordinate is you? three, and then what was the y-coordinate? What did we plug in for y? And Zero. And says, please wait as well, and makes it. Hey, look at that. Does that fall into the same, the same category as what we had done before, where an x-intercept has a value for x and the <coughs> y-value of zero? I don't. Oh my have it, goodness! It makes it look and if we plotted it. this point, if we went positive three or zero, say, would it fall on the x-axis? Or according to the if we plotted that point, just 
take an image and what do you think turn into a I sketch think so. which so now really cool. in order to find the y intercept guess now, what we're going to do the reverse the I we're going to let x equal 0 Instead. Yeah, this one's probably better for cartoon so we definitely need a cartoon nine. A photo here, into right? a. So in order to find the um, y-intercept, we're just going to let x equal zero. So we have three times zero. Um, so do you have to choose which one of these? No, you should see if this one is step three. Choose the best step two. So we get zero minus y equals nine. Do we need to leave the zero in there? You hit. Nope. So we have negative y equals 9. Do we want it to be a negative y, though? We want it to be a negative y? No, not quite. So what do we need to do to both sides there? What can we do? We have a couple different options. Or we can undo it. Mm. Yeah, we can either multiply so by it. negative yeah, 1, or we can divide it. by negative undo. 1, right? Basically, you're just, it, flipping it up, so when you want. you're just flipping the sign. You're just flipping the sign. So, I'm going to change the inside out of that so I'm in here. Negative so, you know what? Nine. Um, transform your. And transform so, writing that out as a into an inside out character to the only joy. What does our x value in the, in the coordinate? I'm going to go ahead and Zero. click on. And then our y value was negative 9. So hey, look at that. Exactly like We're what back. we wanted. We wanted the x value to be 0 and the y value to be negative 9. Congratulations, you just found a y-intercept. Because if you plot this point, which axis will it be on? The y-axis. Now, keep in mind, these are two separate points. We do not want to combine them, okay? The point 3, negative 9 is not anywhere on an axis at all, right? If you were to plot that, it would be way off in no man's land. No longer on an axis. These are two completely different points. They have their own identities, right? The x-intercept has to fall on the x-axis. The y-intercept has to fall on the y-intercept, or the y-axis, right? If we had the point 3, <coughs> negative 9, is that on an axis anywhere? Is that on an axis anywhere? I don't think so, right? No? So you do not want to combine these points together. So when they ask you for an intercept, for both the x-axis intercept and the y-intercept, you should have two different points, okay? Now, what we were going to talk about here at the end of class, okay, so I want you to put a star next to this problem of finding the x and the y intercept. You can try this one at home tonight if you would like. Okay? You can try this one at home tonight if you would like. What we were going to talk about, though, was graphing in a different way. By basically just finding your x and your y intercepts. So we really technically only need to find two, a minimum of two points on your graph, right? So instead of plotting three random points, we could find the x-intercept and we could find the y-intercept. Plot those two points, connect the dots, okay? So real quickly, we have two minutes. Let's okay. see um, if your first name is A through L. I want you to find the x-intercept. M through Z, I want you to find the y-intercept. And then we're going to plot those points, we're going to connect them, and then we're going we're gonna to see, we're going to see what our graph looks like. So very, very, very quickly. What do we got? So remember that for an x-intercept, we let y equal zero. For the x-intercept, we do x equals zero. So it's the opposite of what you think, right? So we have 6x plus 9 times 0 equals 18 for our x-intercept. 6x plus 0 equals 18 
looking like we're going to have 6x equals 18. So what is our x-intercept? x equals 3, right. So we have the point 3, 0. We got one intercept now, 3, 0. Boom. No. How quickly can we do the next one? So the next one, y intercept, we're going to let x equals 0, right? So we have 6 times 0 plus 9x equals 18. So we get 0 plus 9x. It's looking like our intercept is going to be what value? <coughs> Okay. Looking like two, right? Oops, what did I put? I right. meant to write Y's up here. Right. My apologies. Bye. What am I doing? Getting too excited here. Y's. Y's. There we go. That's looking better now. Y equals two. There we go. I'm on top of things, I swear. So our point now is the point zero two plotted on the graph. We now have two points on our graph. We can connect the lines or connect the dots, right? Connect the dots. Okay. Draw our arrows. Anyway, Congratulations. We once again here graphed the line. Ta da! That's not really up on here. Just that's it all. Okay, mm. so multiple Sorry ways that we can go so ahead and graph lines. All you want to do is just okay. upload an image. Multiple ways. So, real quickly before we go, and tell me how you're feeling with this. This image to be that, so you just go ahead. How are you feeling with this? You guys did amazing with this lesson today. I apologize that we ran a minute over. But seriously, you guys did amazing with this today. I'm super, super, super proud of all of you. You guys are awesome. So things for you to do today. There is no quiz today. Um, there are specific practice problems already on your notebook for today. Toss the question start like with it. Be on your own problems. Okay, they're already on the notebook. There are some extra things for you to take My a look at Tom. if you're still stuck with this lesson. You can take a look at the um, closer look in the learn section of the online lesson. Okay. And we will have a help session today at 11 o'clock. All right? And that is my sister and myself. Right we like to be goofy. I am. Slides are on Rome for anybody who needs them. Once again, wonderful, wonderful job today. We do have help at 11 o'clock if anybody needs Just it. Just play my game real quick, so. And everything you need to know about ordered pairs is already so on the slide. Am, I'm on, no, we love it. This is on me my, on the right. This is um, my sister on the left. My oh, thank you. Game. It's a beast, and Alexa. My hair is a beast. All right, sure, yes, I is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the recording. Anyone with questions, feel free to stick around. Other than that, have a wonderful day. Recording stopped. Oh, thanks, guys. Graydon, like I said, the the actual definition that's so up there. So anyway, um. About how it's a anyway, coordinate or a specific image. point on the graph. That's what Sorry you need to so know. Long. So what's now up there is, is what you need to no, know. No, I want this image, so you just want to click open. <laughs> My hair is actually even longer now than it was in that photograph. I'm thinking about getting, like, maybe, I don't know, four inches cut off because I keep getting stuck on my own hair when I'm trying to sit, like, and, yeah. Oh, it won't, it, trust me, it will still be, you won't even be able to tell that I cut it. That's how long it is right now. Yeah, so... It like goes down to like for some reason, my so. stomach. It's like at the bottom of my rib cage right now. So four inches, trust me, you won't, you wouldn't even notice the difference. Anyway, um, now, so yeah, anyway, like literally, um, now it's long enough that when I'm sitting stream, down, I'm I will sit on it with my shoulder gonna, blades, and then as I go to move forward, I legitimately wait, man, get stuck. Out of time in my stream yep, for so we will be assigning wow, it tomorrow. Two channel. I think so. Anyway, I'm um, like always. Friday, I want to show you some of the coolest things. 
that you might not have known that was possible. Oh, that would be super cute. So, like, anyway, um... Stuff? You'll have to send us pictures. This, this place I'm going to yeah, go to I'm is about... one of the... Kyroi's back No, home today, you, that's a good question, all Ruth. That um, they, you do need anyway, to fill in the entire notebook for today. Cool we have a brand new notebook Zuna for tomorrow as well. Is that... that Thanks, Quinn. Well. Thanks, Gloria. It was new at today, one now, the so. interim checkpoint tests are due today at 5. Say, so if the, you always wanted to be one in and a two. Frankenstein monster picture, if you want to be on a VHS, oh, wow, Ariana. or be behind a craft board, or... I did that one time, too. I think I got, like, tree or I don't know, eight, eight different things, even inches cut off or something. Even a cup or, under, or even under a Oh, yeah, that's fine, Neil. No problem. Hat. That's fine. Or a press conference, or a deck of playing cards. Thank or you for checking. I appreciate five it. Five paintings of Thank you, you too. or someone. For a shot, a book lover. I've considered Rain. actually dyeing my hair a reddish color before, but or for how much hair favorite. I have, it would cost so much. Okay, say if you don't want it, if you so don't find it here. There's, di there's different that. categories. For Valentine's Day, there's Halloween, there's Christmas, there's photos, there's lab, cards, posters, <laughs> galleries, photographs, faces, billboards, See, I have a hard, like, memories. my sister always likes to play with and my hair just, because I unless do I do the side effect. braid, I can't See? braid it myself. Well, so, painted, but the face so, like, I can't French braid or anything like that or because my hair is just so long. So, and I, I even have a hard um, time doing the side braid to make it look okay. <coughs> so, yeah, she likes to do my hair a lot because it's so long that I can't do it. So, anyway, I know this has worked, though. Straightening takes such a long time. Oh, my goodness. I'll be Superman. So long. So, what you do is so just long. click on Superman. And I go through so much conditioner. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I actually Although only wash like my hair, like, once every three days to save on shampoo and conditioner. There's this version of Superman, but I don't know. Because it's so the ice world cost so much. That. Or those tiny little samples that they that. send you in the mail are the That's travel the size. I need like five of those for my hair. <coughs> so anyway, you just want to choose your photo. <laughs> the struggle is real. Alright, so Ashley, Brittany, Abigail, right, Anastasia, Brady, Brody, photo. Jonathan, Samuel. Any of you have any questions for us? Anything? Okay. Bye, Ariana. <coughs> I just want to head crop it the best the way you like it, and just want to head and head go. It's just that easy. And then now you see instead of having the original Superman as hang on, I'm gonna bring in a photo of the guy who plays Superman for this version of Superman. So anyway, if you're curious on who plays actors in Superman's movies, say I just use this demonstration. Or if you wanna know how long a movie is, say Okay, I'm just gonna use this demonstration. I'll I will I will, I'll just wanna know how long the Captain America Civil War, so let's say, okay. How long is Captain America Civil War? <coughs> Captain America Civil War's running time is 2 hours 27 minutes. And as you see, it does say in about 35,100,000 results in less than 0 0.81 seconds. Anyway, I see the full Captain America Civil War running time is 2 hours and 27 minutes. And I am said, how long is Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice running time? Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice's running time is 3 hours 3 minutes. Which well, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is probably one of the most longest films there is. Anyway, um, the normally for the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice that was in the theater release was only like two hours and thirty minutes, so and that was rated PG thirteen. But the 
Batman v Superman Don Justin for three hours and three minutes is rated R. So, and but it doesn't have the other length. It only has the one length that has the longest one because the Batman v Superman Don Justice three hours and three minutes is the most popular version of the Batman v Superman movie. So, and I am say, how long is Alvin and the Chipmunks to rule the chip? And I see it will bring Alvin and the Chipmunks, the road chip's running time is 1 hour 32 minutes. I see it will bring in the album and Chipmunks running time and say, so what who, like, I, I know Placey Hotel Babysitter and Alvin Chipmunks road chips, but if you don't know, here it goes. Who plays the Hotel Babysitter in Alvin and the Chipmunks, the road chip? Oh, just speaking to the microphone and Laura Morano played hotel babysitter in Alvin and the Chipmunks the road chip and she says Alvin the Chipmunks the road chip hotel babysitter is played by Laura Morano and who played Carlos in Disney's Descendants Cameron Boyce played Carlos in Descendants Or say if you want to know how long Disney's Descendants is. What is the running time for Disney's Descendants? Descendants' running time is 1 hour 52 minutes. So anyway now, you know exactly how long Descendants' running time is for the Disney version of Descendants. It is 1 hour and 52 minutes. Anyway, um, say, how long is Superman the movie? Superman's running time is 2 hours 31 minutes. Okay, and say, do you want to know how long Man of Steel is? How long is Man of Steel? Man of Steel's running time is 2 hours 28 minutes. I see, sometimes they do get it right, sometimes they do get it wrong. So, like this. According to Wikipedia, Baraboo is a city in the county seat of Sauk County, Wisconsin, United States. Miranda Cosgrove. According to Wikipedia, Miranda Taylor Cosgrove is an American actress and singer. Or say if you want to have a list of Miranda Cosgrove movies and TV shows. Miranda, Miranda Cosgrove movies and TV shows. Miranda Cosgrove movies and TV shows by Carly, Crowded, Drake and Josh, and others. So I'm gonna see, or that's probably her most popular one, so I'm gonna buy the oldest one first, which is School Rock in 2003, then Yours, Mine, and Ours in 2005, Peter and Cotton Tail, Here, Come on, Peter and Cotton Tail, the movie was in 2005, Keep Up with the Saints was in 2006, Tim Carr was in 2006. Um, Drake and Josh Gil Hollywood it was in 2006. Um, Drake and Josh was 2004-2007. Drake and Josh and the Real Bitch Shrimp was in 2007. Merry Christmas Drake and Josh 2008, which unfortunately Drake and Josh ended. Tomorrow Saman was in 2009. This Will Me was in 2010. Extreme Makeover, Home Makeover in 2010. I'm Mike Crowley from 2007-2012. This by Mo Me Too was in 2013. Mouse Tail was in 2015. Um, the Intruders was in 2015, and Crowley was in 2015-2016. Or this one never happened, so. Or say, bring up Justin Bieber.
Justin Bieber. According to Wikipedia, Justin Drew Bieber is a Canadian singer and songwriter. Or say if you want to know different things about Lego. Lego. According to Wikipedia, Lego A.S. Doing Businesses The Lego Group is a Danish family-owned company based in Billund, Denmark. <coughs> so, or anyway, say, if you have a place, say, like to go visit. McDonald's on East Main. So, let me take McDonald's on East Main. And McDonald's. Here you go. Look. Emma has the outfit. This is the old McDonald's. This is how ours looked before we changed it. Ours even had a red box. And see it. You just see. Even had a when you right here, and we also have a KFC right there. So. This place right here went out of business. I just want to. That place is still there. And they went out of business when they moved. They just really moved, so. That's not even how they really look anymore. <coughs> That's still there. The hospital kind of right here is not there anymore. This park is not there, but this place is still there. They're still there. Presley, they're still there. I see here, I just want to. Can you guys pass all of this stuff? Movies are showing all the time. I want to see it. I want to see you over here. I wanted to, but. I don't want to go back over here. And then, like always, I just want to go back up to. Yeah. 
And I'll be right back. View of East um, Main, which I'm not done. I just went to you guys to and be all the way down here. We're on East National Road. This was seen in July 2015. I see. We are You see, I'm just going to take you now I'll drive to Walmart and show you guys our fancy Walmart. I just have to go. So I used to have them. They went out. They're still there. They're here, and this place went out. This place is still there, unfortunately. They're owned by her. So, anyway, yeah, so. I have a look. Anyway, so. Oh, God. I was doing over there, so and so I'm gonna go back to Google.com. Type of face, Superman. Which well, says Happy Face Superman. Which although it never says Happy Face Superman, Superman. So we'll bring up Superman. And go into According to Wikipedia, Superman is a fictional superhero appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics. And I just want to go to the Christopher Reeve Superman and see if I can. So you guys can see. Superman from Superman the movie, the classic Superman 
Which, if you see the new version of Superman, you understand. <coughs> so this is the classic version of Superman Superman. New Superman. Here he is. He still has like, the red S on his cape, and he has the red boots and the red cape, but he's just not. He doesn't bring the effect as Superman should, or say like, if you don't know who has the Man of Sequel was. I mean, it's still sequel. You just go to your microphone and tap it up. What is the Man of Steel sequel? I'm gonna bring it up. And see, the Man of Steel. The sequel, sequel of Man of Steel was Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. And see, the sequel to Man of Steel was Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. What is the sequel to Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice? The sequel of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was Justice League. And see, Justice League will be the sequel to Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. What is the sequel to Justice League? The sequel of Justice League was Justice League Part 2. What is the sequel to Justice League Part 2? So uh, there's no sequel to Justice League Part 2. Captain America the First Avengers sequel. The sequel of Captain America, the first Avenger was Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Captain America, the Winter Soldier sequel. The sequel of Captain America, the Winter Soldier was Captain America, Civil War. Captain America, Civil War sequel. So, anyway, there's was that after some war, they don't have that one. Marvel's The Avengers sequel. Although we all know which one is the Marvel's The Avengers sequel. It'd be Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron. What is Marvel's The Avengers sequel? The sequel of The Avengers was Avengers Age of Ultron. Avengers Age of Ultron sequel. The sequel of Avengers Age of Ultron was Avengers Infinity War Part 1. What is the sequel to Marvel's Avengers Infinity War Part 1? Should be Marvel's Avengers Infinity War Part 2, but... Marvel's Avengers Infinity Wars. Like Here are some matching news articles. Avengers Infinity War. Here is some information about production of Avengers Infinity War and the untitled Avengers sequel. The Avengers Infinity War Part 1. Or say, if you want to know about the Black Panther movie. Black Panther movie. Here's some information about Black Panther, based on the comic book. Or say, if you want to know about Doctor Strange, say... Doctor Strange. Here is some information about Doctor Strange. Doctor Stephen Strange, a young, arrogant surgeon with a promising career, loses his ability to operate after a terrible accident. What is the rating for Doctor Strange? 
because this should be PG-13. Okay. So, how long is Marvel's Doctor Strange? Here are some matching news articles. Doctor Strange is running time. Doctor Strange running time. So anyway, they don't have that up yet, so. Avengers Age of Ultron running time. Avengers Age of Ultron's running time is 2 hours 22 minutes. Zootopia sequel. So anyway, they don't have a sequel confirmed yet. The Wreck of Ralph sequel. The Wreck of Ralph is in the works, so. And you see you in there. Let me just see what they have. Just kind of really cool that we'll be getting our very first sequel. Because last record was back in 2012. Which I just think they even make it up Frozen 2. Let me just. Frozen 2! Which I think they are, but hopefully they are. Um, yep, Frozen 2 was right there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna end it all. Oh, wait, Frozen 2! It's confirmed. It says Frozen 2 is an upcoming American 3D animated musical fantasy comedy. From all Disney's previous release of Disney's Frozen. Let's see. Who is the cast? Looks like it's Kristen. That was the attorney to play who was. He played Olaf, so. Looks like it's Frozen. Frozen! Who's. Um. So, anyway, he just won't bring it up. So, anyway, it doesn't look like there's. So, there looks like there's only. Two versions of Frozen, that's just the Frozen 2000. <coughs> the Frozen 2013 and the Frozen Saber. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to say random things and. And when I say. Oh, yeah, this one is like really cool. I love this one. It's under celebrity, so. And what I do is go under celebrities. And you see it has Einstein, the mortal, uh, vampire. Even has our president. The moment is Obama. Iron Man. Lulu. I don't know the dress, but the dress is not really fancy. Pirates of the Caribbean. Or magazines. I like the Obama one of the celebrities. Or this one I like quite often uses a lot and I mean a lot and I like this one so I, what I do is I take a picture recent one like this one oh Fire it up. And I just use this as demonstration. There ain't really. Probably want it quickly. So. Yeah, just. Together forever, which 
Let me just download it and Or say if you don't type it up here, I'm like face. Remember not the face swap or shark pass to add the things about the face. I just thought that was pretty cool. All I want to do is just I want to take recent. I want to take this photo, crop it, and upload a photo from the PC. I want to take. This one, burn it up, and I want to hit crop right there. So you want match colors to the photo base. So I'll just look, end up looking. And you see there, you pick. I don't know how to really do these. Super not even real. Anyway, this one is for Europe, which you do have to choose your face position and. There's different flags, so we will want the American flag. They don't have them anymore. I used to, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I just want to upload the photo. Recent. I just want to use the light blue one because it's our colors. And you probably get to choose. I'll take that one. Crop it. Different things you do like that way, or different things do whatever you want. It's your free imagination. This one's a video, so I just go ahead and choose a photo. I'll do never see this photo in the museum. You choose this as illustration, so you just click go and. Or say if you've always been on a football field, you'd be on a football field on this one. Um, so you just want to shoot a photo, recent, hit. You can do whatever you want. You can upload a new photo, which I showed you. Or you should have to upload a new photo. You can see there, it'd be right here. And do it by a poster. So if you always been wanting to buy a train poster, so you want to kind of click choose photo. I just want to upload a new one from my PC. So use this one. I hit open. And see there, it's pretty much takes in it. 